Does anyone know what that is? Any ideas? It's a toilet. Yes. A journal. But to Marcel Duchamp, the artist of this piece from 1917, it's one of his best creations. I never really liked art personally. I always thought it was not very extraordinary. In fact, I thought it was rather pretentious. This was true for me until I had to write a six-page research paper on art for my junior year of high school. Doing research for this project, I found a form of art known as Dadaism. And I love Dadaism. Doing that research showed me that art can be cool. And more importantly, maybe, you shouldn't so easily dismiss things that you don't know that much about. You shouldn't so easily dismiss things that you don't know that much about. Because my school forced me to write about art, I discovered a form of art that I thought was hilarious, because frankly, putting a urinal in a museum, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but my story of learning about different things can be applied to other categories like my story with high school and how I met some of my best friends. So growing up, I used to build things all the time, like skateboard ramps and other things. And one of my friends in sophomore year asked me if I could help him build sets for the school musical. Now, I didn't like plays. I thought they are you know, because I don't like art. <laughs> and I thought I was doing my friend a favor. But two years later, I realized that he did be one. Going to stage through that one day helped me find friends that I kept all the way to my senior year, and I think were some of my closest friends. I, however, am not the only one who can benefit from being open-minded about things. DJ Kenny Everett was an English radio host from the 70s, and he was known for playing mostly rock music. Now one day, a band came to him, and they said that they wanted to play a song. It was a long song, and it had opera in it. And at first, DJ was skeptical. I don't know. I play rock music. I don't know if people want to listen to long opera song or whatever. But eventually, he did it. And that song was Bohemian Rhapsody. After listening to me, I hope that everyone here now will think twice about dismissing things that they don't know that much about. Whether it be with my story in art, or stage crew, or DJ Kenny's with trying new music, you should keep an open mind about things, even if you have a negative preconception about them. Thank you for listening.